beautiful people, welcome back. I hope everyone is having an amazing, amazing day today. And you guys, in today's video, we are finally, finally sitting down and we're gonna be talking about some new makeup, testing out a ton of stuff that I've picked up over the last couple of weeks. And I am so next level excited. We have everything from Hourglass, we have Danessa Myricks, we have some Tarte, we have, oh, the new Tatcha powder, you guys. Oh my God, let me count the ways, okay? I am so, so damn excited to test this out. I've heard really, really good things. Cool part is that some of these I've actually been using off of camera too. So some of them obviously will still be first impression, but for a couple of them, I would say like four or five products, I'm actually going to be able to give you a little bit more info as far as like where overall application and that sort of thing. But that's pretty much the scope of today's video. I mean, you guys know, or if you're new here, you might not know, but uh, these videos are just pretty chill. They're informal, laid back. We just hang out together, put on some makeup, and I hope that you guys like that. So make sure that you leave me all of your thoughts down below in the comments. Also, we'll have everything linked down below, whether it is the makeup that I talk about, what I'm wearing, sweatshirt, by the way, is from Good American, and I am obsessed. Oh my God, I love, I love their sweatshirt. So I'll have this link down below. I'll have the necklace linked down and the earrings, everything that I can. I will have it linked down below. Oh, and also too, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe and turn on your post notifications because I upload three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, typically right around like 7, 7.30ish a.m. my time here in good old Northern Michigan. So we have bright early morning uploads. And also make sure too, if you haven't done so yet, to please, please go follow me on Instagram. Everything will be linked down below. But with that, let's go ahead, let's zoom the camera in and let's get started. So first things first here, I'm just gonna go in with a couple of products that aren't new. We have the One Size Secure the Blur Makeup Magnet Primer. I like to take this one and really press it into the pores right around my T-zone, get everything nice and smoothed out. And then for foundation, I'm actually gonna be going in with the Derma Blend Flawless Creator Multi-Use Liquid Pigments. And I have been testing this one off of camera because I don't think I've talked about it on here. Um, I've been testing this out now for probably like two or three weeks off of camera. And it's actually a really, really beautiful foundation. The application is freaking flawless. I'm using this in the shade 10N. Now the good thing about using this as a foundation is that because it is technically a liquid pigment, you really don't have to use a lot because it naturally has very full coverage to it. And it's a very nice lightweight full coverage because it's more of a pigment versus a foundation. So I like to go in with just a little bit, kind of smear it all over. There's really not much on my face. And I'm gonna go in and buff this in with the BK Beauty 101 brush. So a couple of things. First of all, if you're looking at this obviously on camera, it does look a little bit light on my skin tone. But the cool thing about this foundation that I've noticed is that as it sits on my skin for like 10 to 15 minutes, it actually does a really nice job at kind of warming up and almost adjusting to my skin tone. So even though right now it might look a little bit too light, just give it about 10, 15 minutes, like I said, and it'll be pretty much perfect. But look at that base, you guys. It is so freaking flawless. It's such a nice, lightweight, airy coverage. Also, one more thing, just so you guys know, we're gonna be testing out these BK Beauty brushes today because they sent them all over to me in PR. Thank you guys again so much. I actually unboxed this um, over on Instagram in the Insta stories if you didn't see it. But these profiles are so beautiful. They're super duper soft, wonderful looking brushes. Speaking of BK Beauty, I'm actually gonna go in next here with their beauty sponge. And you guys, this beauty sponge, this is actually my third one and I love it. I love the profile. I love the squish. I love the surface texture. It is such a beautiful, beautiful sponge. And I feel like it gives the smoothest application for foundation, concealer, powder, whatever you're using. The press of it is just perfect. So I'm gonna be going in with this today, which by the way, I did dampen this. So it is about, I would say 50 to 60% larger than when it's dry, but uh, it just adds to that perfect squishy little texture. So I'm gonna go in with that and apply actually the Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape Concealer. I have this in the shade 8B. I'm just gonna be taking this concealer here and popping it under my eyes. I picked this shade because it had more of a brightening effect for my T-zone. And so I just like to take this one and kind of pop it there. And then I also throw a little bit along the jawline just to help brighten everything up. Which random side note here, a couple of things. Um, first of all, this mirror, I picked it up. I'll link it down below. I grabbed this from the Huda Beauty website and I actually really like it. I love that it's got like this big old handle on it. You guys can see, like this is a big old beefy guy and I really like it. It just feels like a good sturdy mirror. And because it has this handle too, you can actually prop it up a lot easier. I like the shape of it. Like just everything about this for me as a mirror, I really, really like. All right, so I have the, shape tape here all blended in and I have to say because I've been using this one off of camera now for about a week and a half and with this concealer like if I go back and I compare it to the original I definitely do prefer this version and I think it has a lot to do with this one being just more creamy and a lot less mattifying because with the other one again I noticed that when you would blend it out with the original it had this tendency to get like really stuck on your under eyes and if you didn't blend it the right way or prep the right way it really would have a difficult time kind of moving and not settling into your fine 
fine lines. But with this one, I think that they just lessened that mattified just enough that it made it, again, more creamy, and, and it almost gives it more of like a silky kind of satiny texture, which just blends out so much easier. It settles better. And what I like about this one is that they didn't add like so much hydration and so much um, movement to it that it doesn't stay on my under eye. Like th this one, I'm able to wear it and it doesn't immediately repel and like sink into all my fine lines, my cracks and my crevasses. Like I can still make it work. And I really like that. It's For me, this one I would say is kind of the best of both worlds between like the original Tarte Shape Tape and something that's more hydrating. Like this one sits right in the middle and I actually really, really like it. And I think that this shade specifically works beautifully to brighten up like my inner corners and just help my under eye pop. All right, so next up, I actually want to play around with a couple of cream products before I set anything down. And so I'm going to start off here with the Danessa Myricks Contour Balm. I have this in the shade Light One, and I'm just going to take some of it here on the butt of my sponge and start applying it in. All right, so I have this balm completely worked in, and guys, I am obsessed with this. The tone, the texture, everything about it is perfect. And I think what I like the most about this is that it is so true to a balmy type texture because with balms, balms versus creams for me are two very, very different things when it comes especially to sculpting the face. And I think for me with this one, the fact that it like melts in with my foundation is such a beautiful facet of this because I think that it really does allow you to almost more naturally sculpt your face versus giving it more of like a chiseled kind of look. And I think too with her product here, pairing the pigmentation with that formula is perfection because I'm going to do a swatch here and kind of show you. It actually has a very, very light amount of pigment as you blend it out. You can see that it just very naturally kind of drapes into um, the outskirts of your face or wherever you're contouring. The thing about that that works really well for my personal routine is that because you guys know, or if you don't know, um, I like to go in and I use cream products, but then I also on top of that like to go in with powder. And so anytime I have a product like this one that is lightweight, it's creamy, it's beautiful, and it, it, it kind of helps me to start sculpting my face without really chiseling it in, it actually makes it so all of my products, powder and cream, they all just meld together and give me the most natural sculpt. And I feel like with this product, it's going to layer perfectly for that reason because it just has such a nice press into the skin. Now, I will say this tone specifically had me a little apprehensive because it's kind of a mixture of warm and cool tone. Like it definitely has that cooler undertone to it. So it's not something necessarily that I would say like use it as just a bronzer. But if you're wanting to go in and get like this really nice light sculpt and you're around my skin tone, I think it looks absolutely freaking beautiful. And also I should mention if you're new here and you've never seen one of my videos, um, at this point in the video, for whatever reason, because technology just isn't my thing, um, for some reason I'd start to turn orange. Like right up here, my bronzer will start to look patchy or like through here I'll look funky. Just trust me, trust the process. I promise it'll get better if it looks funky. That, you know, there's just, there's really nothing I can do about it at this point. And I just, I don't, I don't even care to because it's just, she's, she's like my friend. My orange Cheeto looking ass forehead is just my friend. Hello darkness, my old friend. I smeared the Cheetos on again. <laughs> Okay, I don't know that I take it quite that far, but you get what I'm saying, okay? It's just, it's there. Trust the process. It'll get better, I promise. Moving on. Also, now I want Cheetos. What's up with that shit? Now, who's gonna bring me Cheetos? Cheetos! Ooh, Doritos. Yeah, Doritos, not Cheetos. I want Doritos. All right, so next up, we're gonna get into some cream blush, and I have three different shades here of the new um, Hourglass Vanish Cream Blush. This is the shade Devoted. Let's go through and swatch them real quickly here. This is Devoted, super beautiful, almost like a petal pink type shade. And then in the middle right here, we have more of a corally pink. That's in the shade Wonder. <laughs> Did you guys see that? It just flew out. Oh my God, no, 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 no. Oh, guys, there's a cat hair on it. There's a cat hair on my cream blush. All right, so I have that setting back in the tube. That was the shade Devoted, by the way, the first shade that I swatched right there. Anyways, the final shade that I have here is the shade Sacred, which is definitely out of the three, definitely the most like poppy in your face shade. But I think for today's look, I actually wanna go with the shade in the middle, the shade Wonder, which is more of that corally pink, because I think that um, I think that the color would pair really, really nicely with this um, cream bronzery contour situation. So I'm just gonna take some of this here on my sponge from BK Beauty and pop it right up in this region. Keep it a little bit higher on 
my cheek. Oh, that's really pretty. I feel like on camera, it's not really coming across and I don't know what that is. Like you can see a difference for sure between the two sides, but you're not really getting like the, the actual color that I'm looking at, which is a shame because this is a beautiful ass shade. Aside from the one blush there falling onto the floor and giving me a damn heart attack, I actually really, really like these cream blushes. I've used them once before this. And what I appreciate about their formula the most is that it does have, um, I would almost say more of like a cream to powdery kind of feel because when you're applying it, you do get like that really nice pressed in, like it, it's one with your skin feeling, but at the same time, it's such a workable texture. It doesn't continue to move around. It's not overly hydrating. And so I think that this is the type of product that you really could use in multiple ways, whether you're wanting to use it alone and just get more of a natural finish, or if you're wanting to, like I'm going to do, pair it with powders or anything like that. And just because of that texture, it really does have a lot more movement to it. It's very, very soft, very lightweight. All right, guys, so a technical difficulty. I think I just deleted like my last 20 minutes of footage and uh, I'm not really 100% sure So I want to give you a just a real brief recap of what's going on here with this Tatcha powder because um, I just applied it up under my eyes through the t-zone with my sponge Like I always do and then I went ahead after that and I dusted away with the BK Beauty 107 brush here Which is a fantastically soft little brush and I just went ahead and kind of dusted away the extra that way There wasn't anything like sitting on the surface of my skin I just wanted to throw it out there that uh, this whole area looks absolutely disasterful and what I was saying in the clip before this, the one that I think I deleted, um, is that I don't necessarily think it's either one product or the other. I actually think it's a combination of these two products just not working together because I have used, and I mentioned this before, um, I've used this Tarte Shape Tape several times over the last week and a half, and I've actually used it with, from what I can count here, I've used it with three other setting powders and not had this issue. And so I think what's happening is that the Tatcha powder itself is such a micro fine, like very, very slick consistency. And I've noticed on my skin, anytime I try to pair that type of a textured powder, um, something that's just very light, very finely milled with a thicker, creamier type concealer, there always is some sort of an issue because my skin naturally does have so much texture in so many pores. Um, and they're just, they're just, everything is so large. Like I got a lot of texture going on in every department and the mixture of, you know, having a, a silky type powder with a thicker type concealer, there's just, there's not enough robustness between the two to really settle and make everything work. So for me, this combination right here will not be happening again, obviously, because it does not look good. But I just wanted to throw that out there because, again, I don't necessarily think it's an issue with one product or the other because this isn't something I've had happen with the Shape Tape. And I've worked with this texture before on the powder side, but I think for me, with my skin, the Tatcha powder will have to be something that's either like an all-over light dusting, a finishing powder, something to that feel. Okay, so now I want to move on and set the rest of my face. And for that, I'm actually going to take my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter soft matte foundation powder. This is what I use every single day. It's in the shade 150. And normally to set down my entire face, I use my BK Beauty 102, which is looking a little bit busty crusty like it needs to be washed. So for today, I'm actually going to switch out and use the BK Beauty 105, which looks absolutely delightful. Do you see how gorgeous this is? Oh my God. And the texture of it is oh, just so, so damn beautiful. So I'm going to take this and just kind of pop it in here and use that to just kind of stamp it all over my face like so. So next up, I've been using these off of camera uh, for a hot minute. These are the new Wayne Goss Radiance Boosting Face Palettes. I have it in light gold, which is the lightest of the three palettes, and then satin bronze, which of course is the medium one. And of the two for today, I'm actually going to grab the light gold and go in with the shade Soft Gold Glow, which is this one right here. And I'm going to take that on the BK Beauty 103 and just very lightly tap into it and start dusting this all over my perimeter. Perimeter. With these Wayne Goss palettes, I have been, like I said, testing them off of camera for a hot minute now, about a week, week and a half, and I definitely have some thoughts overall as far as the two shades I have, how they work, and I actually have a ton of footage for me, like as far as applying them and all that kind of stuff. So I think what I might do with these, and you guys can tell me what you think down below, but I might put together like a mini review video full of products that I've been testing. Um, that way I can give you guys kind of like my full all-encompassing thoughts without trying to always like fit it into a video like this. 
this because honestly with this uh, product specifically I have so many thoughts and uh, like I said so much footage application and everything that I don't really want to um that I, I don't want to just you know skimp over top of it and say oh it's great moving on or oh it's this that like I really want to be able to give you all of my thoughts and opinions but let me know what you guys think about that down in the comments because oh you know what I could also do I could talk about you know stuff like this that I've been testing and all my thoughts but I could also maybe give you guys some updates on like the hourglass blushes and stuff like that so let me yeah let me know down in the comments do you guys want to see something like that um do you think it would be helpful what are your overall thoughts and opinions god that is beautiful oh my god spoiler alert guys I love this shade I've worn it so much like I've already put a hell of a little dent in this it is oh my god this this, bleh, this shade is so freaking beautiful like are you kidding are you kidding oh Wayne you did the damn thing and the texture of it is so silky on my skin I love it all right so here's the problem when you leave Paige alone with all of her makeup things and her thoughts for longer than like 12 seconds um I have this very mischievous brain okay and I want to know everything I want to test everything I want to do everything and I keep going back in my brain to this freaking cream blush and how it had such a beautiful like creamy powdery type texture when it dried down and in my brain I can't help but wonder if I could use this over top of powder the problem that I'm having is that like oh it could be really good like if it goes on over powder it's even more multifaceted and it's beautiful and it's this and it's that and it's all these great things but then to the flip side I'm like Ugh, like if what if I try and it doesn't work like cream over powder page no that's a big no no we don't do that just kept going back and forth in my brain should I shouldn't I should I shouldn't I I don't know and then it occurred to me Paige it's not that serious it's makeup you're filming a video and this is literally the whole point so I'm gonna go in here all of that to be said and I'm gonna take this BK Beauty 106 it's like the perfectly rounded medium density cute little poop poop kind of brush it'll be great for this and I'm just gonna take and run it over top of this uh, this blushy situation. Boop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. And then I'm just going to take and lightly pat that up on the chic. Okay, so Hourglass, what kind of sorcery do you have here? Because I, I want every single shade of it. It is absolutely beautiful. First of all, texture, 10 out of 10. It is not lifting. It is not moving, budging, nothing with my foundation. It just looks absolutely perfect, and it's not causing me any issues. Um, by the way, this brush is perfect. I don't know. I don't know what the hell it's supposed to be used for, but like, I, I, I vote for using it like this because this is great. Okay, so we all know that Paige over does her blush. It's just who I am. It's like the essence of page. But how can you hand me this blush stick and expect me not to? Like, look at this. It is so, oh, it is so beautiful. Guys, this might be uh, my new favorite blush. Like, I'm like, I, I'm, I'm actually speechless at how beautiful this is. This is such a multifaceted product. I can use it under foundation. I can use it over foundation. I could use it here. I can use it there. Bitch, I will use it anywhere. And I think it will look gorgeous. So next up, it's time to start moving into zip brows. And I have a trio here that I grabbed from the Charlotte Tilbury website. Website, and I'm going to start off with their new brow pencil. This is their brow lift brow pencil and I have it in the shade natural brown. All right, so I'm trying to swatch this and not draw blood. You guys, this formula, by the way, this is the shade, um, but this formula is so rough and I don't know if there's something like wrong with mine, but it feels so like dry and scratchy. And I don't know what that's all about. Like the, the pigmentation isn't bad. It's on the lighter side, but it's not bad. And uh, truthfully for me, I would prefer something a little bit lighter. That way I can control the color more. But like the actual texture, when I'm just swatching this on my hand, it's actually hurting. <laughs> like it feels it feels like I'm taking like a, a pen cap and just scraping it across my skin. And uh, that's not really my favorite feeling. So that right there, not loving. Um, as far as the shape of it goes, this one is more of the like teardrop shape. It's not like the precision point um, that I'm used to using like the benefit precisely my brow you know that style is more up my alley but uh, I'll give this one a go it does have a nice little chunky spoolie at the end which I'm not mad at so let's go ahead here and do 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 and let's start oh my god guys my face right now I look so busted crusted crackly nasty right through here busted crusted crackly nasty oh boy if that doesn't paint such a beautiful picture looking so good guys but seriously my skin I look like I am roughly 107 don't get me wrong I'm 107 and thriving my hot ass okay but looking 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 kind of kind of busty dusty cracky up here okay okay so next up for brow gel um Charlotte Tilbury has two different options here they have the legendary brows micro precision tinted brow gel I also have the Brow Fix Clear Brow Gel. I'm just going to go in here first with the dark brown one just so I can see what the actual pigmentation is. And honestly, for me in my day-to-day -day life, I do typically prefer um, tinted brow gels anyways because they help my brows look a little bit more fluffy. So I like to take and just lightly comb it through and then kind of fluff them up a little bit too up near the top right there. So that is actually a really nice combination. I think that the dark brown uh, brow gel really helps 
pull the color of the brow together with my natural hair color. But just to give you a side-by-side -side comparison, this is the brow with the brow gel in versus this one, which is just the, um, the brow pencil. So you can definitely see that the brow gel makes a very nice difference, not only with the brows, but with the overall color. God, that's really pretty. And I love the fact that this is a tiny little spoolie. It gives you a lot of control. Then on the other side here, I wanted to go in with the clear brow gel just to see what this one will do. And it actually does a really nice job defining your lashes, which I like. I mean, obviously it's not gonna give me um, as much color as this side because it's clear, but I still like that it gives you a good, like defined, fluffy looking brow. My brows do look fuller and it actually gives them a fair amount of hold. They don't feel like thick or sticky or anything like that, but they still feel like they're held in there, which I like. So I did just go ahead and run the tinted brow gel through this side as well, just so that way everything was nice and even. But uh, I actually think, uh, I mean, out of all the brow products, this is definitely my favorite, the tinted brow gel. I really like the texture. I like the color. I feel like it did a really good job, and I love the brush that it comes with as well. All right, now moving on to the eyeshadow or like the eyelid portion here, I grabbed this new little ditty from Tarte. It's at Ulta. This is their new waterproof shadow and liner. It's called their Quick Stick, and I have it in the shade Mauve and Luster Black. And of course, what this is here is a double-ended little stick. So on one end, oh, wow, that's that's a beautiful, can you guys see how creamy that is? Look at that, oh my God. On one end you have like a nice black creamy liner, very, very creamy liner. And on the other end you have one of these creamy shadow situations. Ooh, which is also creamy. Can you guys see that? Damn, that is a, oh, and it's even got a little shimmer to it. That's a beautiful ass shade. I actually really love the two of those together, the black with that mauve color. Ooh, I was just checking to make sure there wasn't any like special or specific, uh, you know, application things with this. And it says on the side here that this is a clay infused shadow and liner in one. You swipe the shadow onto the lid, blend it with your fingertips, and then you apply the liner to the lash line to define your eyes. So it's definitely gonna be one of those products that uh, is a good like on the go option. If you're someone that just wants a little color, you wanna get out the door, this is gonna be the that booby. So I'm just going to take that. I <laughs> did I just say it's going to be that booby. Okay, Paige. No, no, thank you. Um, but I'm just going to take this uh, pencil here and swipe it along my lid. Guys, sometimes I say the weirdest shit. And even when I'm editing back, I'm like, what the hell? What did you just say? Because even I don't know. Like, I, I don't know where the depths of my brain begin and end, but uh, I can tell you there's, there's a lot going on in there. All right. So I'm just taking this, uh, as it said, to just swiping it all over the lid. I didn't go in with any like extra base or anything. Um, I just, you know, swiped out the concealer that was there. And now I'm just going to blend this out with my finger. Wow, that blends really, really nicely. I quite like that, actually. I feel like it does a good job. It doesn't get, like, weird or patchy or anything like that. Just take it and layering it up a little bit, kind of blending it out as I go. Very, very creamy, too. And then now that I have it blended out on top, I'm also going to take a little bit of it here and throw it on the lower lash line and then just lightly blend it out with that same finger just so I don't have any harsh lines, but I still want just a little freckle of color. Okay, so I'm also going in now at this point and taking the black eyeliner that's on the other side, and I'm running that just on the upper lashes here, just to get a little bit of definition. God, that's a really, really creamy formula, and you know what? I actually think I'm gonna take this as well and run it up under the lashes and do a little bit of a tight line up here too just like up in the lashes themselves, just to give it a really nice seamless look. And then just to lightly blend out the um, the black liner right there, I'm just gonna tap over top of it very, very gently with the BK Beauty. This is the 208. I'm gonna use it to just really softly tap at the top side of that black liner just to soften the, um, the harshness of it right there, just ever so gently, just so it looks like more of a gradient um, slide into the eyeshadow color, just like that. Just a nice little, whoo, a nice little bit of soft. Now I'm also taking that black liner here and running it on the lower lash line as well, just for like a completed smoky. Ooh, oh, that's pretty. I God, the texture of this liner is so stinking pretty. I love it, especially paired with that mauve color. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. All right, so now with both eyes done, I'm gonna go ahead and run through a couple of other products. I don't have anything new for these. So I'm gonna start off here with the Catrice Dewy Glow Prime and Fine Makeup Setting Spray. And then while that's still drying into the skin, I'm gonna grab some of the Essence Brighten Up Powder. I absolutely love this stuff, especially under the eyes. And I'm gonna take that on a BK Beauty 108 
and just very lightly kind of tap that into this area because I'm not only trying to add a little brightness here I'm also trying to um, smooth things out make it look a little bit more um, soft after that Tatcha powders incident okay so next up I actually do have another new product here this is the shape tape glow powder and I have it in the shade starlit basically what I'm reading on the back here is you can use this in a couple of different ways first off if you want to use it as like a finishing powder you can use it all over your face for like a nice glowy feel or you can use it on the high points of your face if you'd rather use it um, for like a targeted nice light amount of glow. Here is the packaging. I don't know how well you can see it, but it actually has like a bubble top to it, which I kind of think is cute. I like the packaging. The presentation is a little different. It's a little funky. And here is the powder. Again, this said it was in the shade Starlit. And the powder itself does have a nice little golden hue to it. I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera, but it's right there on my hand. It is a pretty subtle glow from what I'm seeing. So I actually think I will use this um, as more of like a finishing powder. I'm going to start there and then maybe do a targeted highlight just to see how it looks. So for the all over glow portion, I'm actually going to take the BK Beauty 104. It's kind of a larger tapered brush and I'm just going to lightly tap into this and start popping it on the face. Ooh, that's actually really, really pretty. Definitely gives a nice little glow. Let me do it on this side so you guys can see a little bit better. Can you see how it's just like nice and glowy right there. That's actually really, really pretty. And I like that you can build it up too if you want to add, ooh yeah, if you want to add a little glow, that's actually really pretty. Like I said before, I am taking this and swiping it all over because for me, what I really want to see is how it looks over top of like pores, fine lines, wrinkles, that whole situation. Uh, because glowy powders like this, they can be really, really good. Like they can be an asset to your makeup routine or they can go really bad if they like emphasize texture and stuff like that. So let me pull it in nice and close here. You know what? I actually quite like this and especially up over this region. I will say though my pores like up in this region and around my nose are looking a little bit funky but I don't think necessarily that that's the result of this powder. I think that that's just kind of all the other situations we got going on. And you know what? I do want to try using this as like a targeted highlight so I'm just going to dunk in and keep it straight in this area just so I can see how it looks. God that is really really pretty. I don't know if that's coming across on camera, but it's such a nice, like, soft, subtle glow. So even though it's a loose version of it, I will say this uh, powder from Tarte does remind me a lot of the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder, which if you're not familiar with this, it is a fantastic, fantastic powder. Highly recommend. Um, it's very similar, I would say, to this one in the sense that you can use it all over your face if you want more of, like, a nice, diffused, you know, kind of finishing powder effect with a glow, or you can target it if you want to do that, too, and it looks really beautiful both ways. For today's look, because I did go a little bit heavier on the eye and like I just have more of a full coverage look on I am going to add a little bit more highlighter and for that I'm just going to go in here with the Dior um, glowy face palette you guys know I've been using this like every single day for the last two months and I'm just going to lightly tap between these tap two shades right here and then throw a little bit of that on just for a little bit more targeted highlight goodness and then I'm also going to take that same highlight and pop it on the inner corner and up on the brow bone just to help open up the eyes a little bit all right so next up I'm going in with this new mascara from Stila this is their stay all day mascara and it has a really interesting wand to it you can see it has a lot of curvature and on the inside of the curve it has like a regular bristle mascara wand and then on the outside it has like the rubber bristles from a mascara wand I'm going to go in with this just like I normally would first up I'm just curling the lashes and then from there I'm going to go in and just load up a few coats of this to each side and try to get a feel for um, the formula and how it builds. All right, so now that I've used the mascara, obviously it's fully applied to both sides. Um, I can definitely understand like why they give you two different sides to it. Like I get where they're going, but I think for me personally, the formula itself is actually really nice. Like the mascara, um, the mascara product, but I kept having issues with the application part of it, really trying to make sure that while I was working it through the lashes, that it wasn't getting overly thick and overly gummy. So if it were me, I would actually prefer this formula just with a regular brush, whether that's the shorter side, the longer bristle side, whichever direction they wanted to go. I mean, I, I personally prefer a bristle. That's just who I am. But uh, the formula itself is really good. I did, that being said, struggle with it doing the lower lashes because I didn't really have um, either one of those sides that I could use to like get in there and really define my lashes because it kept just wanting to get like thick and kind of gooped up. So is it my favorite mascara? No, but will I use it? Absolutely. Because again, I think the formula itself does 
does build really nicely. I just really struggled with the application part of it because the bristles were two-sided. Okay, so finally we are down to lips and I wanted to bust out this little guy that I grabbed from Charlotte Tilbury. This is a new lipstick here. I guess it's the Kissing Lipstick and I wanted to grab it because, well, first of all, this packaging is absolutely stunning. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's covered in like these little gemstones, little Swartzky crystals, whatever they are. It just looks absolutely beautiful. I love the packaging. And for the shade, ooh, that's really pretty. This is in the shade Nude Romance. And God, that is a beautiful color. I'm not exactly sure if this is gonna work with this eye look or not, but I figured we could give it a go. God, that is so creamy. Oh my God, like, look at that. Just like one swipe, boom, color, absolutely gorgeous. And oh, God, God smells like a vanilla cupcake. You guys know how I feel about a good vanilla cupcake. Oh my God. All right, beautiful people. So with the lip on and applied, we have officially reached the finish line. And obviously this is how everything came together. And I gotta be honest, for the most part, I actually really enjoyed a lot of these products. There were definitely, you know, little hiccups here and there along the way. You guys know with the whole Tatcha powder, which by the way, I will go ahead and pop up the up close. That way you guys can see a little bit better um, how things are are working. While you guys are actually looking at the up close, I'm going to go ahead and run through some thoughts, starting off with the complexion itself. And obviously we know I'm not a big fan of that. Like we definitely had issues along the way. It doesn't look perfect right now, but I do think that adding in those other powders, you know, playing around with the shape tape glow and my essence brighten up, you know, those type of things, they, they did help, I think, kind of smooth out the areas where the Tatcha powder originally kind of messed things up, which is good. Um, but you know, definitely from this point going forward, I would be a little bit more selective with that Tatcha powder, probably just applying it, like I said before, as more of a finishing powder, um, really letting it kind of do its thing and be smoothing while not really relying on it to like set my foundation or set my concealer. Aside from that Tatcha powder, I really didn't have any other like glaringly huge issues. You know what? That being said, I actually really liked the uh, brow gel, that tinted one from Charlotte Tilbury. That was a really, really nice brow gel. And I also really liked this lipstick, which for me, lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury can get a little bit iffy because I find that some of the formulas work really, really well for me and some of them not so much. But with this one, I really love everything about it from literally the packaging to the application. The color is perfect. And I just feel like this lipstick is such a versatile option with a ton of different like skin tones, undertones, eye looks, you know, intense makeup, natural makeup. I really think that you can do a lot with this one. So I really, really like the lift. Oh, and also let's not forget the huge ass round of applause. Okay, <laughs> literal round of applause for the wonderful people over at BK Beauty for sending me over all of these brushes you guys. They were absolutely fantastic. I think I used every single face brush today and the only brushes that I didn't use were the eyeshadow brushes because I really didn't do much in the eyeshadow department. But um, I was really obsessed with all the brushes. They worked beautifully. I didn't have any issues. They are not scratchy. They're not pokey. The profiles are perfection and I really, really, really like those. Also, one more thing. I'm glad that that just made me think of it. Speaking of eyeshadow, I want to touch on this Tarte Quick Stick one more time because I am so impressed, first of all, with the creaminess, the application, like this went on like a dream. And I think as far as overall application, it is a 10 out of 10. But what really shocked me about this, when I went off of camera to finish everything up, take my close up, do all the things, um, I was really impressed because I went to go remove all the swatches I had on the back of my hand. And when I was doing that, I obviously had a huge swatch of the shadow stick. And you guys, I had to actually like rub a dub dub like a bitch in a tub to get that thing off my hand because it was on there. Like the staying power of this so far, just from, again, swatches, what I've seen so far, it seems to be on point, like a really, really nice sticking power. Um, so I'll definitely keep you guys updated on that. I'll let you guys know as far as longevity, how it wears. But so far, I'm very impressed with that. And then something else I wanted to mention with this black eyeliner, you guys, the staying power here is unbelievable. Like it's actually staying on my waterline. And if you're new to my channel, this won't seem significant at all to you. But if you have sat here and watched me for any of my videos, you know that my eyes are incredibly watery. Like they, they literally repel shit off my waterline line like it is their job. And from the time that I applied this, okay, this is a huge testament. From the time that I applied this, which was about, I would say at least an hour ago, maybe even a little bit longer, um, because I had to go help my parents. My parents got home. The dog was going berserk. It was a whole thing. But uh, from the time that I applied this to now, it's been about an hour, maybe a little bit more. And I just checked the mirror before I came back on here. And this has not budged off of my waterline, like the actual watery ass line of my face, which is so, as the name would suggest, okay, so watery, so inhospitable. And this is doing 
such a fantastic job. It didn't bleed onto the inside. It didn't bleed out here. And I'm just, I'm so impressed by that. Again, I don't know how it's going to stick long term, hour after hour, but for how long it's been on there so far, for it to not move at all, I am so, so impressed. And then pair that too with the fact that it's super creamy, easy to blend, easy to work with. But with that, beautiful people, it is officially your guys' turn to sound off down in the comments. What are your thoughts, opinions, whether it is on the video, the makeup, the, if you were curious about these, or if there's something else you're curious about, or if there's a video you want to see, anything of the sort, just make sure you drop it down in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Like I said at the start of the video, I will have everything linked down below, makeup wise, outfit wise. So if you want to check out any of it, um, it'll all be down in the description box. And of course you can subscribe, turn on your post notifications here to YouTube and go follow me over on Instagram, all of which, like I said, will be linked down below. And I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. But you guys, with that, we are officially done. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And of course, as per usual, I hope you all have an amazing, amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!